Hey, I'm down in our children's wing, and as you can see, we're doing a lot of modeling. We're building a castle for the kids. You know, kids come up with the greatest things. Have you ever had a bunch of six-year-olds and you ask them, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, you know, a lot of them already have some idea of what they want to be. You know, they might say, I want to be an attorney. I want to be a doctor. I want to be an astronaut. I know my grandson says he wants to be a fireman when he grows up. Isn't it great to have a vision when you're that age? kids come up with these things about what they want to be. But you know what? And all the children that I've ever asked that question to, and I remember uh, Art Linkletter, he had a program 40-something years ago, and he'd always ask kids, I never heard a six-year-old say they wanted to be God. Never heard a kid say, I wanted to be God. And you know, as we look in the Bible, there was one person that wanted to be God. And of course, that was Lucifer. He was in heaven. You can read about this in uh, uh, Ezekiel 14, Isaiah 14, excuse me, Isaiah 14, where he was kicked out of heaven with a third of his buddies because he wanted to be God. Well, you know, that spirit came into the earth to where that spirit says, I want to be God. Aren't we seeing that more and more that people are void of looking to God? Man is looking to himself. I'm amazed at the number of decisions that are made in this world without the presence of God. I'm involved in a lot of uh, activities where uh, non, they're secular to where a meeting would start and nobody even thinks about asking God to intervene, praying and asking God to guide, guard, and, dis and to direct our steps it's just amazing, but man thinks that he can do it all by himself, and that's what we're seeing. Wouldn't it be nice to have leadership that said, we're going to seek the face of God. We are going to go before God. We're going to cry out. You know, the Bible says that if we'll do that, if my people would trust me and get me involved, in their activities. How many activities are you involved in that God's not involved in? Well, he's not involved if you're not asking. He's not involved if you're not going before and saying, Lord, we need your help. Would you guide, guard, and direct our steps? But that's the way the world is. But praise God, the church, we that are part of the church, the living church, we're going to continue to trust in God. We're praying over every situation there is. Our world, man, some big decisions are being made. But we're trusting God. We're going to say, God, help us. Direct our steps. I can't do it. I, I don't want to be God. I don't want that responsibility. But we do have a God that hears us. We have that assurance that he hears us. And he wants to answer our prayers. Amen. I just pray today that as you're going through this life, whatever you're dealing with, whatever, I just sense that maybe people are having some big medical situations right now. Do you know that you can ask God, you can call on God, the healer, Jehovah Rophi, the God that heals. You know, we can ask God to heal us or to be with us, to comfort us, to bring the peace of God on us. We can ask God, the creator of the universe, we can get him involved in our situation and say, Lord, help me. Every time in the Bible when someone says, help me, Lord, you know what? God showed up. So I just pray today, wherever you are, that if you need someone to go before you, God is just asking and waiting for you to open your mouth and say, God, would you help me today? Why don't you do it right now? Whatever you're going through, Maybe it's financial. Maybe it's a relationship problem. Lord, help me. I'm just, I'm just coming before you and say, Lord, would you help me? And the Bible says he hears me 
And if I know that he hears me, then I have that petition that I ask. So let's start doing that today. Let's get God back involved in our lives, in the church, and in our government. Wouldn't it be nice to have a president that would say, hey, let's pray and ask God to guide, guard, and direct our steps. I think our world would change, and it would change real fast. God bless you. But it says, if you're my disciples, you will know the truth. See, if we're born again by the Spirit of God, we have the truth in God's Word. And it said, and that truth will set you free. In other words, you won't be deceived. 